Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here. I thought I'd let you know about a new update that you're going to be seeing in Google Drive, and that is in relation to the Drive file sharing box. Now, you know the old box that was there, and you may even still be seeing that. However, there is a new dialog box that comes up that's kind of streamlined some things and made things a little bit easier to see, as well as a little quicker access for things. So I thought I'd show you what that looks like. I'm just going to select a file here that I've already shared out with someone. We'll click on our file share button in the upper right. You'll notice this new box appears and it's going to make life just a little bit easier for seeing who it's already shared with and their permissions right away. Before you'd see a smaller box it would say share with. If it's already shared with people you'd see their names underneath but it wouldn't give you the information of what permissions they have. Now it's taking us right to what was the advanced sharing box and giving us more information. You'll also notice that the owner settings option is no longer visible in this first page. You have to click the gear icon in the upper right. To click on that it will give us the option for those same things of editors can change permissions and share the file out and viewers and commenters can see the option to download print and copy. If you'd like to turn either of those off it's a simple click of a button. We'll return to that main view You'll see below who it has all been shared with, their permission level, so we can immediately change one of these if we'd like to change things and give them comment or access. You'll also see that we have underneath that same dialog box that pops up, give temporary access. This takes the place of that expiration piece. Now you'll have the option of doing that same thing here in terms of we can pick when we want that access to expire click on the date and then you can pick from the menu and when you want that to expire so we'll just say we want it 11 to 1159 and like the old way you can also click expiration removal save and we are good to go going right back to that to show you some additional pieces if you're adding someone we'll just pick off of our contacts select upper right corner is that new permission to give someone message send and it goes away if we pull that same couple of boxes that we had up before another nice piece that I really like this and I've already been using this quite a bit is down at the bottom where it says get link you either had to open the file previously or you had to turn link sharing on and then copy the link well now you don't have to turn link sharing on which you can do from here in that bottom left corner of it we can just click copy link and now I can ping that to someone in a chat box or in a Google Meet chat box, whatever it may be that we are using for that. So I just wanted to show you that new dialog box that you're going to be seeing here. If you don't see it yet, you may need to go to your Chrome menu, upper right corner, three dots, go to more tools, clear your browsing data, and then from there you're going to want to make sure you select cookies and other site data and cached images and files. Click clear it may boot you out of your account you'll just have to sign back in but that should refresh your screen enough that you should see any of the newest updates right away with that everyone until we meet again another day another time another update this is Gary the Google guy signing off